Hi again, YouTubers. So this is kind of an overview, and I know it's end of summer, but I was playing with a lot of stuff, and I really feel like this summer I got it down of how self-tanners work for me. I feel like I really and truly got like a method down, and I found a way that I like it. Now here's the downside. Right now, I have no self-tanners on. I kind of had an issue with one, um, the, and I have a review on this, the Vita Liberta the two to three week one um, that should have posted right before this. So I'll try and put the link down below. But um, I had some issues with that and kind of had to go down back to no self tanner. So I'm kind of going to try it for the fall and winter and see how I do with no self tanners. But I wanted to sit down and show you guys how I really do this and what my upkeep is and how I kind of keep myself tanner. Because if you followed my channel at all, in the beginning I started and I was like, self-tanner junkie and I was like way too dark on the verge of just it looked ridiculous um, up through I learned how to kind of maintain it and make it look the most natural and kind of work with it within my own skin tone too. First thing I do is every single morning when I get in the shower and at night too I just use Dove what's it called deep moisture more nourishing body wash I just use it with one of those big poofy sponges things and I just kind of use it lightly on my body and I swear by that stuff. I really, really like it. Um, as far as my body, after I have exfoliated and when I exfoliate, it really, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's whatever I have at the time. Sometimes I just use one of those like loofah mitts. Sometimes I use an actual body exfoliator. Like it's whatever I have on hand. I don't find there to be a big difference in that portion, but when I exfoliate from like top to bottom and get rid of every bit of tan I have on me and I'm going to really start from scratch, um, my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to use, and I'll tell you how I do this, is the Million Dollar Tan, tan Icon Extreme Dark Sunless Tanning Solution. And this one is empty, but I have two others. I think I put them in the other room already. Um, two others of this. It's about $28.00. I think um, is what I paid for it. Um, I originally was sent one, but then I've purchased since then. Um, I've used these products for probably about two years and I always go back to them. I always, always, always find them to be the darkest and best lasting. For this, the one that I went back to the most consistently, I would say, is the St. Tropez Self Tan Bronzing Mousse. I still have a full bottle of this one, so I should really go back to this one before I open any others back up. Um, this was probably one of the first, like, really great higher-end self-tanners I ever used. Um, what was it? Zentan was another one I had tried. Um, but I always went back to this one, and the mousse was the reason for this. Now, kind of interesting is the Million Dollar Tan, I wish they would come in a mousse formula. If they did, I'd be sold. But the same key to that is it's a liquid, and I have a small little, let's see if I have it. Oh, no, I have a small little sample bottle of this that I used all of it. And then I put the liquid of this into that bottle, and I love it. It. It's a, it's basically what is inside here. The liquid is the same as this. The only difference is with this, I have to pump it onto a mitt and then apply it. Whereas with the mousse, it's just easier to get a pump and that's it. Um, it takes like one pump versus a bunch of sprays of this. So that is my only downside I would say about this one. So how I apply the self tanner is now I've used a ton of different types of, I use a mitt and both of these have gone through the wash and you can see this one kind of is falling apart more so than this one. Both use the same amount of time before putting the wash. This one kind of came clean a little bit better than this one, but this one is made much better. These ones I purchased at Ulta, and the ones at Ulta, now, by the way, for a big thing of St. Tropez, I think it's around 54, 50 something, and this one is like 28. So this one's eight ounces, and this is eight ounces. So hmm, that right there is interesting. Um, so I use a mitt, and I always use a mitt. It's just what I do. This one, um, these at Ulta, I always get them on sale and it's always like three for something. And I feel like it's like three for 12. I feel like I might be wrong about that, but I always get them on sale, so I'm hard to tell. And then this one from the Vita Liberta um, is a very nice, it's like $6. And honestly, I will tell you that this one actually might be worth it. Um, I had purchased it because I thought it was like this. See how it's stitched at the top, but it's not. So I put them, First thing, let me start with this. I get out of the shower and I do my, you know, face, all that kind of stuff. But I put lotion on my hands, my feet, 
on the edges of my knees and my elbows. And I put that on and then I put the mitt on my hand and I make sure your hand is all the way splayed out with this. And I put a pump or a bunch of sprays onto this. Um, generally I've been using the spray, but now that it's in the pump, you know, you put it on there. And I actually start on my opposite hand of whatever it's on. And I start in my wrist and I just go around and around and around. And I usually can get up that high with one pump or five, four or five sprays. And then I do the same thing, going all the way up to my elbows and around my arm, go over my neck, down my chest, and I continue to do the same thing, working the way all the way down to my body. Now I only go to here, I do not go onto my face with these products, okay? When I am done, my feet are the last thing I do. I don't put any additional product on them. I just kind of leave whatever is there and go over the edge of my feet, okay? And then I take two sprays and I do one up at the top and one down at the bottom. And I kind of like go like this because at that point it's kind of like wet anyway. And then I go to my hands and I start on my hands and then I work my way into the middle of each finger and then I close my hand and go up around my knuckles and around my fingertips. Now, right now, I have no self tanner on at all. This is my skin, this is my skin tone. I'm trying to get through the winter and see how I do without any of it. Um, so that is kind of how I apply it from top to bottom. Typically, a self tanner, I wash, um, I let that sit for overnight get up the next morning and just jump in the shower. And I just use this without the puff or anything. I just kind of put it on my hands and rinse everything off to get rid of any of that. Um, both of these are tinted and will have the, um, the color guard so you can see where you're applying it, which is super, super helpful. So when I'm done applying that with those, I simply take the same lotion that I put on earlier. It's just a regular hand lotion. I think it's Bath and Body Works, anything works. And I put that lotion over my hands again, over my feet again, over edge of my knees, edge of my elbows. Then I take a towel and I just wipe the inside of my hands like this to get anything off my palms. That seems to work for me. Um, on my, let me keep with my body and then I'm gonna do my face separately because that's kind of an animal all of its own. On my body, what I do is that next night, I simply get in the shower as I normally would and I put on a regular moisturizer. Whatever I'm using at the time is fine. Fine, let that go. The next night, so every other night for the week, okay, I then get in the shower and afterwards I use the Norvell Professional Prolong Color Extender and I buy the big Mamma Jamma bottles with the pump because I love this stuff and it smells so good. It smells like, um, pomegranate or blackberry. I can't put my finger on it. It's fruity smelling. It does not smell like self tanner and that stuff, it, I can use it on its own and get a nice little glow, but that stuff just helps my self tanner stay on so I can go full week without putting self tanner on. Now I put self tanner on like my main version, like when I actually am using this on a Wednesday night. The reason I do that is because it's the darkest on Thursday and then it starts to get a little bit toned down by Friday, which I really is my favorite time. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday is when I'm kind of at the best of the self tanner in my opinion. And then as it goes into Monday and Tuesday when it's fading out, it doesn't matter, it's just kind of the beginning of the week. So that's how I do it. So every other night until it gets back to Wednesday, I use this and the opposite night, I just use a regular moisturizer. Now, if I am going somewhere and I find anything like it's just off, like starting to get a little blotchy or maybe I wash my hands too much or, you know, I don't know, I was walking in the sand. I find the sand exfoliates your feet a lot and the color comes off on your feet in the summertime. I use one of two different things. Now, they're totally, totally different. So I'm going to explain both of them to you. The one is the St. Tropez one night only. Okay. And the other one is the Sally Hansen airbrush legs. Now, the St. Tropez version of this is going to mimic a self tanner. It is tinted, a dark brown, has a very light perfumey scent, um, kind of smells like, like powdery and like florally. I don't know. Um, it's not fruity, but this is for one time when you put it on, it stays on until you get in the shower. And as soon as you get in the shower, it will rinse off. Um, 
it says that it is waterproof. I always say water resistant, meaning you, if it rains, you're not gonna look like streaks running down your leg. But if you get into a pool or if you get into a shower, you know, it's gonna come off pretty much. So this one is something that looks like a self tanner on your skin. And what I mean by that is it adheres still to freckles and to dark spots and things like that, but it definitely gives you a darker tone to your skin. That one, gosh, I'm so, I get these online at a tanning place. I just Googled that and I Googled the fact that it's, I think a liter and I found them at some site and I found them for like $25 each, which was, was awesome. Um, this, this one, I forget how much it is. I'm sorry. I totally forget how much this one is. Um, so then the other option is the Sally Hansen airbrush legs. And I have this in the color light. The medium one has a really weird orange undertone to it. And the dark one is just ridiculous on me. So this is what it looks like. It's messy. Oops. See, there it goes. Oh, I just got on my nose. All right. You want to see what it looks like? Here we go. This one doesn't matter. I could, I'll show you these two next to each other. Well, that just made a mess. So this one, see the spot on my hand? But if you blend it in, I'll do them on both hands. It kind of, this one is kind of like a makeup for your body or your legs. It can cover up some freckles and undertones. Well, it's not covering freckles, I guess, but it just has a more, it evens your skin tone out a little bit more. Whereas this one, sorry. Whereas this one is like, see these ones wash right off, so I don't mind. This one is just different. It just has a different look. It just looks like a tint to your skin. So I don't know if you can see those, and I hope you can see the difference between them. I don't know how much it's showing up on, and you know what? I barely put a dot. That's why I put way more too of the um, Saint Tropez on my hand than this one. This one is kind of just like a makeup for. Yeah, I think I said that a makeup for your body. Okay. But you can see this one has much more, the, this one is the Sally Hansen. It has much more of a orangey undertone. But when you kind of use it all over, sorry, when you use it all over, it actually looks very nice and very natural as long as you go with the light colored one. Sorry, I thought I got it on me. Um, so yeah, those both just kind of work as spot treatments kind of for them. So that's kind of how I maintain the tan on my body. Now for my face. It's a totally different animal because on my face, I'm constantly exfoliating. I'm using all these products that are trying to like regenerate skin and stuff like that. So I need to use things on my face much more frequently than you do on your body. Now I have three things that I interchange. It depends on the look I'm going for and how much color I need. When I need a lot of color, and I need a moisturizer. Okay, so I wanna wake up and have my face very dark. I use the Million Dollar Tan California Tan Extreme Face Moisturizing Dark Sunless Tanning Lotion. So I can use this in place of my nighttime moisturizer. And I simply put it on when I wake up, my skin is nice and deep and pretty much matches this to a T, no issues. Um, but it only lasts me until, sorry, I should have cleared that. Um, it only lasts me maybe, okay, if I put it on at night that night, all through the next day, the next night, and the day after. But once I wash my face that next night, it's gone. Every bit of it is gone. Now, if I want a really dark, like I wake up in the morning, I forgot that I didn't put a self tanner on my face at night, which I've done, tanned everything else and forgot about my face. The thing that I like the best and works the best and has the nicest, most even, tan on my face for spray and the spray is nice too is the Norvell Prime Bronze Professional Sunless Mist. I think this one was 30 something. They sell it at my hair salon. I forget. But this one comes out, let me see, in a very nice even mist. Just has a light scent to it. Um, very nice, even mist. Um, it does have a bronzing tint to it. You can see there on the thing. It has a bronzer in it, so um, it gives me that right away. It kind of evens everything up. So I do use that. Now that same thing, that'll get me through like two days typically um, until I have to do something again. Then the other thing that I tend to like, and this is a strange one because 
Neither of those, this one can clog my pores. If I use this too frequently, it can clog my pores. This one, if I use it too frequently, kind of makes my sunspots darker. It like sticks to those spots and they don't fade as evenly as everything else. Um, so that's the only issue with that. So if I just need like a quick in between where I can't use this every other night. I just can't. It just, my sunspots get way too dark. So if I use that a couple days later, I've lost the tan from it, but I want to kind of keep everything so it's matching. The thing I use is the True Blue Spa Fast Drying All Angle Airbrush Tan. And this one's kind of better now. It's hit or, it was hit or miss for a while because they had a while that the, all of these would stop working, the um, pump airbrush thing, whatever, um, the aerosol when you had like a half a can left and it was horrible. And there's always the deal for these. It's like buy two, get one free or something like that. Now this one again is just a nice light. This one has a very, very, very citrusy smell. Very, very citrusy. So you have to be aware of that. But if I use this one, it gives me a nice healthy glow by the, this one does not have a tint to it at all. Like yeah, nothing, no tint in there whatsoever. But this one gives me a nice healthy glow on my face without looking overly done, without looking like too much self tanner. It's just a really, really, really nice product that just performs very well. But again, just as all the others on my face, these, I will say, I've tried these all over my body. They're just not, they just aren't my favorite thing, but I love them on my face. So that is kind of my way of using self tanners. I've done this all summer. I used to go to spas or salons and get airbrushed and do all that kind of stuff. And it was nice and it worked. But after having the baby, I had to make sure that somebody was at home to watch MJ so I could go because I can't take them there with me. Um, so I could go spray tan. I found it was just easier at nighttime to kind of do this and it worked for me and it worked all summer long and it was awesome. So that is my overview of how I have used my self tanners and kind of how I upkeep and maintain them to look the best way that I find that works with my skin tone. So please let me know if you have any questions about any of the products you saw here. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.